Hello everyone, in today's tutorial we are going to learn how to create 3D depths on a flat canvas by overlapping objects and using the blur effect. Open Canva and go to mobile video. Choose a blank canvas. Go to upload and bring all your images onto your canvas. You can add some color to your canvas. Go to color and use any of these colors. Now you can resize and reposition your images. You can scatter them all over your canvas. Now make these two images a bit smaller and then send them to the back. After you've reduced both the sizes of these images, in the toolbar go to effects and then go to blur. In the blur section, we are going to, we are not going to use a brush, we are going to blur the entire image, the whole image. And we are going to increase the intensity of our blur effect. Do the same with this other image. You can also blur the entire image. And this is how your canvas will look like. The reason we are blurring and uh, reducing the image's sizes is because we want to create depth so that our scene looks more like 3D. And it makes our image look like they are far apart from each other. Now we are going to animate our images. We are going to use one animation style for all the images. Go to animate in the toolbar. And then scroll all the way to rotate. You can also increase or decrease the speed of your animation. Do the same for all these images. Now we can add our other elements. Go to upload and bring your fruit elements onto a canvas. Resize and reposition your elements. Now we are going to animate our fruits. Go to animate and for this fruit also use the rotate animation. Do the same for both fruits. Duplicate your fruit elements and place them in different positions around your canvas. You can also decrease the size of one of your fruits and then use the same method to blur your fruits so that it looks like it's further from other fruits. For our last fruit element, go to photos and in the search bar type cherry and choose one of these images. For this project, we are going to choose this image and put it onto our canvas. Resize and reposition your image. And again, duplicate your image and reposition your image. Now we have to change the duration of our frame. To get a full rotation of our elements, we are going to set our timing to 22 seconds. And this is our final project. If you found value in this video, comment, like, and subscribe. Until we see each other in the next video, peace.